Greetings wonderful people, my name is Juan, and here's what we're going to achieve in this tutorial. Playing the same sound effect over and over again without even changing its pitch is a horrible idea, and I think that I don't need to explain why. Therefore, let's plunge into the code that will randomize your SFX in just a few simple steps. 1. Thanks to a params keyword, our method accepts either an array of audio clips or comma-separated audio clips. Both of these usage examples will produce exactly the same effect. 2. We need to pick a random audio clip from the provided array and choose a random pitch within the set bounds. This method will also work fine even if you provide it with just one audio clip. 3. Create an entirely new audio source, which will get slapped on top of the object we call the method from. If you don't do that and use one audio source for all SFX, your clips will overlap each other in an ugly way. 4. Apply our settings to the audio source and play the randomly picked clip. 5. Destroy the audio source we used with a delay that is slightly longer than the audio clip length. 6. Subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss concise Unity tutorials in future. 7. Some effects sound awful with randomized pitch, for example hover over button sounds in menu. If you don't want to change the pitch, make a new method and delete everything that contains the word pitch from it. If you use the params keyword like I do, enhancing the original method with boolean randomized pitch will cause an error. In that case, you can't add any other parameters to the method. 8. Head over to my GitHub repository for source code with excessive commentary. If you still have questions after reading it, leave them in the comments to this video. And that's it for today. Tell me whether you like the new video format or not, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.